friends this is chef ruchika sharma today i'm going to make yummy tangy pickle this pickle i have learnt it from my mom but i given a chef twist to it as my kid is very cranky and he don't like spicy pickles at all he want to eat pickle but he don't like spicy pickles so i redesigned this traditional recipe according to my son's taste so today i'm going to make mango pickle kids special So let's make kids special mango pickle. To make kids special mango pickles, ingredients required are 1 kg mango pieces, 250 grams roasted sesame seed powder, 50 grams mustard seed powder, 250 ml sesame oil, 25 garlic flakes, salt 150 grams, 1 teaspoon roasted cumin powder, 1 tablespoon turmeric powder. 1 teaspoon fenugreek seed powder asafoetida 1 teaspoon 1 teaspoon cumin seeds 1 teaspoon mustard seeds 1 teaspoon fenugreek so friends let's start kids special mango pickle so first what i'm going to do is i'll explain you how i made this roasted sesame seed powder just roast the sesame seeds and grind them into powder my mom mixes red chili powder but i'm not going to mix red chili in it so what i'm going to do is First I'm going to take this roasted sesame seed powder. I have nicely roasted sesame seed and cooled them to room temperature. I grinded it in the mixer. Yeah. So I've taken about 250 grams of sesame seeds and about 50 grams of mustard powder. mustard and sesame these are the two core ingredients to make this pickle making pickle is very simple but you need lot of pre preparation so always organize all the ingredients required with right measurement and follow the recipe that's it so this is roasted cumin seed powder and i'm going to add to this 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder and salt in india we get the special salt this is like you know this is not very finely grinded salt it's it's not even a rock salt but it's called as a pickle salt you can use any salt so i'm mixing the salt I'm mixing roasted uh, sesame seed powder, mustard seed powder, roasted cumin seed powder, salt, turmeric, everything into this. I'm also going to add dry fenugreek seed powder. And I'll mix nicely. As a kid I have lot of memories of pickle making. We all used to sit on the floor and make. Indian food is never complete without a pickle. So you can make always small portion of different varieties of pickle instead of making one pickle huge quantity. So what I do is I make small portions and store them. I don't add any preservatives in my pickles. Salt itself works as a preservative for pickles. So if you add sufficient salt and oil that itself works as a preservative this is a very simple recipe always when you make pickles make sure you add little excess salt because salt always helps in preserving pickles and it tastes well when we have it with normal rice so i have nicely mixed the spices next time i'm going to heat the oil i'm taking 250 ml of oil now for 1 kg of mango heat the oil oil is nicely hot so now i'm going to add in this asafoetida methi seeds mustard seeds and cumin seeds Don't 
The oil is nicely hot and tempered. We'll let it cool completely to room temperature. Whenever you're making pickles, you have to ma make sure that your oil is to room temperature. Never mix the hot oil in the spices. Oil is nicely cool. I'm mixing oil in the spices. It's a very simple mango pickle recipe, easy to make. We don't need any fancy ingredients to make this recipe. With all the available ingredients in the kitchen, we can make this recipe. So next, I'm going to mix garlic flakes. Garlic is very good for health. If you give kids garlic uh, to eat, they won't eat directly. And once you mix it in the pickle, they become so tangy and tasty. So that's why I use more garlic in my pickles. So instead of using garlic ginger paste, I prefer using garlic flakes. So our mashala is nicely ready. Now what I'm going to do is, my mango pieces are just waiting to get into this. So, so. Nicely coat the mango pieces with the masala. My mom always says that we should make pickles before the monsoon. So try making them before the monsoon, especially in the month of April and May. That's the season to make mango pickles. Mango pieces are nicely coated with the masala. So I like this one, this is so little cute. I prefer making pickles in small quantities because I love the small jars. Always before putting the pickle in the jar, wash the jar nicely and sun dry the jar at least for a couple of hours before putting the pickle. So now I'm... The pickle is getting into the jar. So now nicely close it with the lid and tie it with the cloth. This is how my mother does. So I'm copying her, I've learned it from her. So now let this pickle rest for three days and after three days just mix it and serve. That's it. So friends, mango pickle kit special ready. So as a kid, I used to mix in the leftover masala, hot rice and ghee and then just mix it well and eat it. Wow, this is divine. This is a yummy and easy recipe. Do try this recipe.